I've worked alongside the UFC for 19 years and I work with, you know, a ton of yeah. pro fighters and, uh, it's, they have a lot of times they have that problem, you know, everything from a very young age is dedicated to yeah. one thing. And, you know, with fighting in like any sport, one bad night, your career's over ACL or broken this or that. And you might not be planning for it at all. And boom, fuck, yeah. what am I now? Um, people have a lot of trouble dealing with that. So the military yeah. thing as well. There's a lot of soldiers that will, um, identify with that. And then the day that they ETS or uh, they get out of the military or retire, they are shoved into a whole different reality. Absolutely, man. And I know, I mean, I, I've been around just a little bit, some guys in the fighting game and I follow real closely with Jay Glazer's new podcast and kind of his initiatives on the, the depression and the anxiety and the mental health stuff that has always been a battle for me. Um, so listening to the fighters, listening to the pro athletes, you know, um, which obviously the fighters are some of the best athletes in the world. It, it's exactly that, man. And it's not just, you know, I think people look at, okay, they saw you pitch, you know, that one night or they saw your fight. Um, and everything leading up to that is what kind of defines you. Cause literally from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, it's, you know, how do I train to be better? What am I putting in my body? You know, just all consuming, man. And so it definitely becomes your identity. And, and 